Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make raspberry oatmeal squares. This square is like taking two soft and chewy oatmeal cookies and sandwiching them together with your favorite raspberry jam. It's a really nice um, combination of textures and flavors. So to begin, uh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius. And then you need a nine inch square, which is 23 centimeter uh, baking pan and either uh, lightly butter it or spray it with uh, one of those uh, cooking sprays. And then to begin, if you have an electric stand mixer like this, use a paddle attachment or you could just uh, use a hand mixer. And we'll start with a half a cup of uh, butter, about 113 grams, and have that at room temperature. And then I'm just going to uh, beat it until it's creamy and smooth. And then add one cup, about uh, 205 grams of light brown sugar. And I'm just going to beat this until it's light and fluffy, a couple minutes. Scrape down as you need to. Okay. Scrape all this. And now um, I'm going to add one large egg and have that at room temperature, along with uh, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Let's beat that in. Okay. And then for the uh, dry ingredients, in a separate bowl, I have uh, one and a quarter, which is about 165 grams of white all-purpose flour. And to that, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of uh, baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And just whisk that together. You want to make sure that baking soda is all mixed in. And then just add that to the butter mixture and just beat that in. Okay. Scrape down your sides. And then our last ingredient is we need all together two cups of um, rolled oats. It's about 180 grams all together. I'm only going to add one and three quarter cups right now, which is about 155 grams. And I like to use the old fashioned rolled oats, not the instant one. The old fashioned are a lot thicker and then a more chewy texture. I mean, you could use the instant if that's all you have though. And I'm just, you can either fold that in or I'm just going to beat it in. Okay, and that's it for our batter. you can see, it's very similar to um, an oatmeal cookie. And 
Now just take your baking pan. And I'm going to just take about two thirds of the batter and press it into the bottom of the pan. Kind of eyeball it. Just use your fingers or the back of a spoon. Sure you get into the corners. I usually use my hand because that way I can feel if it's an even layer. Okay, so looks good. And then just take a cup, about 240 milliliters of your favorite raspberry jam or preserves. I'm using one with seeds. If you don't like the seeds, you can get seedless. Or, you know, you could try making these squares with other different types of uh, jam or preserves as well. I must admit, I'm a favorite of red. I really like the raspberry, the tart sweet flavor with the uh, buttery sweet flavor of the oatmeal. It's a really nice combination. Okay, so. There we go. So try to use a good quality jam. Or if you make your own, even better. So what I'm going to do is to the remaining batter. I'll just put it in a bowl here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to add that remaining one quarter cup, about 25 uh, grams of um, the rolled oats and mix it all together. I'll just use my hands. I mean you could put back and use the uh, blade of your uh, mixer if you want. Okay, and then we're just going to crumble this over the top. And then even layer, as even as you can get it. Kind of all melts um, together as it bakes. It's kind of a nice bumpy top to it. my hands off here and then I like to take either the back of a spoon or I'm just taking an offset and just gently press that in not really hard just gently and there we go okay into the oven about 25 30 minutes till it's nice and brown and toothpick insert it comes out clean Okay, our raspberry oatmeal squares are now done. So what you're looking for is a really nice golden brown color on top and the uh, raspberry preserves will be bubbling around the edges. Now I'm going to let this cool completely and then we'll cut them into squares. So our uh, raspberry oatmeal squares have now cooled. So I like to take a sharp knife and then just run it around the uh, inside edge here. Loosen the squares from the sides of the pan. And then you can just cut them into as big or as small as you want. 
Now, I actually prefer these squares after a day. I find um, they need a day to like soften and then the flavors to all um, mingle together. Because right now, the um, oatmeal will be, square part will be quite crisp. And I find after a day or so, it just softens, everything softens together and it's my favorite way. And I, you can store these at room temperature, but I actually like to store them in the refrigerator. And, and in the fridge, they will last about a week. Okay, so. so and get this first one out. Always the hardest. It's really nice and soft right now. So there we go. Raspberry oatmeal squares. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joyofbaking.com. Thank you.